Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want the video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. In today's video, I'm going to explain the difference between RTD and thermocouple. A full form of RTD is resistance temperature detector. And it is a passive temperature sensing device. It works on principle that, resistance of metal changes as the temperature changes. On the other hand, thermocouple is also passive temperature sensing device. In the year 1821, T.J. Seedback observed that, if two dissimilar metals are joined together to form a closed loop circuit, and one junction kept at different temperature than the other, then the electromotive force is generated, and it causes electric current flow in the closed loop. And the amount of current flows through the circuit depends on the temperature difference of two junction. So if temperature of one junction is kept at known value, the other junction temperature can be determined. Secondly, RTD has positive temperature coefficient. It means when the temperature increases, resistance value of RTD will increase. And when temperature decreases, resistance value of RTD will decrease. Similarly, thermocouple also has positive temperature coefficient. It means millivolts value will increase, when temperature increases. Third difference is that, RTD resistance can be measured in ohm by passing small electric current through the sensor to generate voltage. While thermocouple output will be in millivolts form. There are mainly four types of RTD sensors. Platinum, copper, and nickel. Since platinum has best temperature and resistance relationship. It is most commonly used metal for RTD. Secondly, platinum can withstand high temperature, and it has limited susceptibility to contamination. And lastly, it has broadest measuring range. On the other side, any two dissimilar can be used to make thermocouple. However, certain metals selected over the time to make ideal thermocouple for certain application. These metals have been chosen for their EMF output and ability to operate in various condition. For example, type T thermocouple is made form copper and constantan. Its range is minus 250 Celsius to 400 Celsius. Similarly, type J thermocouple is made form iron and constantan. Its range is minus 200 Celsius to 850 Celsius. And type K thermocouple is made form chromal and alumal. Its range is minus 180 Celsius to 1100 Celsius. Similarly, type E thermocouple is made form chromal and constantan. Its range is minus 200 Celsius to 850 Celsius. Now, let's do the comparison of RTD and thermocouple in terms of performance. First of all, let's do the comparison in terms of temperature range. Thermocouples are best suitable for working at high temperature compared to RTD. On the other hand, more than 80% of RTDs are designed to measure temperature below 400 Celsius. In terms of cost, thermocouples are cheaper in price compared to RTD. On the flip side, RTDs are usually three times costlier than thermocouple with same temperature range and same style. In terms of accuracy, RTDs are more accurate than thermocouples. However, nowadays, some thermocouple match the RTD's accuracy. In terms of sensitivity, thermocouples are much faster than RTD. For example, a grounded thermocouple are three times faster than RTDs. However, latest thin PT100 probe has improved in terms of response time. In terms of stability, RTDs are more stable and repeatable compared to thermocouple. Some chemical property of thermocouple change over time, which causes thermocouple readings to drift. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think our content is informative for you and others. 
Then please like and share this video with your friends.